Hello everyone! Yes, I am finally back with the second episode of Robot Masters! My, how things have changed over a year! I'm a girl now, and uh... No, that's it. I'm a girl now. Well, let's get started with the second and final episode of Transformers Robot Masters! The Lyo Convoy Typhoon enters! We begin with a recap of the previous episode told in sort of a motion comic form. If you want to learn more, go back and watch my review from last year. We then have a brief toy commercial for the Robot Masters toy line, followed by the actual episode itself, as we open on a city at night in the midst of chaos. And I'll be honest, it seems like the animation has improved since the last episode. Or maybe I'm just remembering it poorly. G1 Optimus Prime and Beast Wars Megatron face off, before Lyle Convoy briefly comes to Optimus' aid. Then Optimus Primal and Starscream fight for a bit. <laughs> when Megatron calls, Optimus answers! Well, we take a bite out of the Big Apple. Optimus is so naive. <laughs> Enemy fire from where? <laughs> You always seem to forget about me. Hmm, this wouldn't be the only time in Transformers that they would face each other. Hasta la vista, Starscream. I must say that I really like Starscream's voice in this episode. He is played by Daniel Ross. I initially thought he was voiced by Frank Todaro, who would go on to play Starscream in the Prime Wars and War for Cybertron trilogies. Frank is in this episode but he doesn't play Starscream, which is kind of weird in retrospect. We are then introduced to Reverse Convoy, also played by Daniel Ross. And again, I think Daniel does a good job here. You know, it's a shame that he wasn't in more official Transformers media. His biggest claim to fame, Transformers-wise, was playing Starscream, Hound, and Mixmaster in the Transformers movie game. So we have more battling, Lyle Convoy introduces himself, and he briefly fights Beast Wars Megatron. But then, Reverse Convoy shoots Star Saber and Leo Convoy out of the air, revealing his true nature as the reincarnated G1 Megatron, known as Rebirth Megatron. Which is funny, because Megatron wasn't in the Rebirth. That was Galvatron. But, oh well. Rebirth Megatron is actually played by Frank Dodaro who, as I mentioned, voiced Starscream in the Prime Wars and War for Cybertron trilogies. So it's interesting that he's playing Megatron in this fan dub, and then went on to play Starscream in official media. I like the idea of Reverse Convoy and Rebirth Megatron. Reverse Convoy actually is a heroic Autobot, but he became possessed by the evil spark of Megatron. I would have loved to see this character revisited in another toy line. Something like Titan's Return would have been the perfect place for a reverse convoy homage. What with the Titan Master heads, it would have been easy to swap between his convoy and Megatron personas. But being based off the G2 Megatron mold, I would not be surprised if eventually we saw a modern version of that figure in a Transformers toy line in the future. Hopefully with it, they'll engineer in a reverse convoy version, perhaps as a Generation Selects exclusive. But anyways, back to this episode. Transform! Double Megatron! Double the fun! So, as we approach the climax of this episode, Optimus Prime, Optimus Primal, and Lyo Convoy unite their powers. First, Primal and Prime form their double Optimus Tornado. But then the two Megatrons create their own tornado. However, Lyle Convoy Falcon kicks the Double Megatron Tornado, ending the battle. And as the Decepticons flee, the Autobot leaders stand for a group pose before they go chasing after them. Well, that was the series finale of Robot Masters. It was okay, super fast paced, virtually no time for story, but it is the only place that you'll see these legendary characters together. G1 Megatron, Technically, in the form of Rebirth Megatron, alongside Beast Wars Megatron, 
I mean, when are you going to see... Oh, right. Well, what about Optimus Prime and Optimus Primal? Surely... Oh yeah, they did do that again. Twice, actually. Well, they still haven't done these characters alongside Lyo Convoy, Star Saber, and Victory Leo. So, that's pretty cool. Speaking of which, I kind of like seeing Beast Megatron use Gigant Bomb as his own personal goblin glider. And we did get a double Megatron, just like Double Convoy in Headmasters. And of course, at the end, we had Optimus Prime riding on top of Star Saber. Again, where else are you going to see that? But yeah, it definitely seemed like they were having fun with these two episodes. What about you? What did you think of this second and last episode of Robot Masters? Did you enjoy it? And what will I do next year for an April Fool's video? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and do all that other fun stuff. And I'll see you back here next year for... Well, something, I guess. See you then!